Okay, level 6, grade D, trial and improvement to solve equations. Now, for me, trial and improvement to solve equations is actually a level 7, grade C topic, but the system that we're using at the moment places it in level 6. It might be the case that, that it's um, simpler versions of this, um, but I'm going to go through the proper method for doing any um, trial and improvement question so that you've got the whole idea, which is really usually standard uh, grade C standard question. So here we go. So we're just going to guess some values to work out the answer to this to one decimal place. So we want to know roughly, well, we want to know um, to one decimal place what is the best answer for this equation. So um, to start with, I need to need to give give, give a get an idea of what's going on. So um, if I just pick a number at random, I'm thinking about something that's going to make 40 maybe. I'm going for five. Now, if x is 5, uh, 5 cubed, in fact I'm going to draw that a little bit smaller, if x is 5, 5 cubed, on my calculator, 5 cubed, luckily I've got a cube button, plus x, which is 5, gives me 130, and that's quite a bit bigger than maybe you would have thought it would be, and uh, we're going to just record that that is too big, so we're going to try a smaller value, so let's go down to 4, so 4 cubed, 4 cubed plus 4 gives us 68, still too big. Okay, so let's try 3. 3 cubed, and essentially this is what we're going to do for the whole thing. We're going to try lots of values until we get as close as we can. Now 3 is actually too small, so we know that the answer to this equation is between 3 and 4, it's not a whole number. Okay, and the standard method to do there um, is to go halfway between. But before I do that, I just want to point out the fact that I have done this. I have found a value that's too big and a value that's too small that is to a whole number that is separated uh, just by one. Now, on a, on a GCSE exam, that gets you one mark if you can show that. You must show that. Quite often what people do is they get a bit carried away and they just go plug in all the values in the calculator and get an answer. And they don't show the working that goes towards that answer but you must do that, you must do it one step at a time. So I know the answer is between 3 and 4 now, so I'm going to go 3.5 and see what that gives me. So 3.5 cubed plus 3.5 gives me 46.375, which is too big. So I'm just going to come down one decimal place to 3.4. So 3.4 cubed plus 3.4 is 42 still too big? Okay, so I'm going to try 3.3. I've got a feeling 3.3. 3.3 might be too small, we'll see. Just too small, 39.237. We want to make it to 40. Okay, so now I know my answer is between 3.4 and 3.3. I've shown that by putting one too big and one too small. Now this gives you, if you've shown this, this gives you a second mark. So there's a mark for that, there's a mark for that. Now, I should be able to come up with the answer because uh, this one is clearly closer to 40 than this one. And these are my answers to one decimal place. So 33.3 .3 is my answer. So x equals 3.3 3 3 to one decimal place. But, um, and that will give you three marks, uh, when you do a GCSE exam, um, they want you to show that the midpoint between the two values, the one decimal place, um, is actually in the right place. So we need to work this out. So 3.35 cubed plus 3.35 should show us that it's too big. So that's 40.945. So that's too big. Okay, and that shows us that it's definitely closer to 3.3 .3 than 3.4. And uh, that gets you in, well, that usually gets you one extra mark. So this is usually a four mark question for something that's fairly straightforward.